so I guess we just put the tear into the ritual block and something will happen. Ah, uh, indeed, something has happened. We're in a new world, I think. A very distorted looking world, actually. Uh, oh. So I'm guessing that this is the magical world of the man from the fog. Not entirely sure what I should be doing around here. Nor where all of the noises are coming from. Kinda creepy and... I swear that is the face of the man around the place. I do have the mecha suit on so I am able to traverse this a bit easier. And I do see structures in the distance we can go visit, but is this a distorted version of the real world? Could I essentially then just make my way back to the base? We have... bone block blocks in front of us? Oh, which I really can't mine up fast. In fact, is that the same with everything? Yes, it is. Okay, so we're not really supposed to interact with too much around here then. I've taken my helmet off, so we have night vision removed, and yeah, this place is hella dark as well. Maybe I should take the rest of the suit off too, just to simulate this as close as possible to how it should be. I don't know if this is simulating the real world or not. I really don't recognise too much on the map. And I'm already missing Brian and Dave, and Ned. I don't know if we're building up to something here, it all just seems to be the same. Occasionally we do get other noises like that, but nothing's coming for me so far. Lots of men from the fog by the looks of it. I could also be wrong, but I don't think there's any fall damage in this place either. Ah, uh, what is that? Something is flying just ahead. I didn't quite get the name of the thing there, all it did was bite me and fly on. Maybe we will try this again. I think I saw the name Soul Vulture. But my health is regaining pretty quickly. That could be because of the backpack and the auto-eating function, or it could be because this place is almost like and peaceful. Maybe that's why we're not taking any fall damage. Although, just to be sure... Oh, of course I land in the only bit of water. I could be wrong, but I do think the sky is changing. Well, it certainly changes whenever we face a certain direction, but I think it is becoming night. Nope, scratch that, I couldn't be more wrong. It's becoming day. So I've basically survived an entire night in here then. So this place is kinda boring. There does seem to be something up ahead here, a little pedestal, with nothing that I can interact with. So again, that's nice and boring. And another altar. Let me guess, nothing in it either. Okay, so what is there to do in this place? Do we just have to make our way over to those giant structures? Is that the point? The ambiance is creepy, don't get me wrong, but scary, not so much. I think I would rather wander the back rooms and be here though. At least they would be a lot more interesting. So what do we have here then? Is that almost to resemble a mouth? Or am I seeing things? We seem to have just another altar area and nothing else by the looks of it apart from a black bed in the middle. Let me guess. I go to sleep and the man from the fog comes to visit. Didn't see that coming. Alright. Uh, cool. Well, I think we have reactivated my friend, so that's nice. Well, that was fun, but I do have a bit of housekeeping to do around here, so I think for today 
we are just going to get up to a whole mix and match of nonsense. You know, the usual. Right, you, what are we up to? We are upgrading the hospital to level 3 at the moment. Just awaiting in some shingles, which I think I have taught the sawmill or the stonemason. Yep, this monobrowed idiot certainly knows how to make them, so you, get on with it. We got this amber monolith from the primordial caves a few episodes ago, and I do want to place it around here just to see what spawns. Ideally, I would like to see some dinosaurs spawn, but I will settle for anything. I don't know if we need to do anything more than just set it up like that, and what we do to activate it. So I'm just going to leave it, and if we come back to any dinosaurs, then clearly it's worked. Speaking of dinosaurs actually, I have a few eggs, and I don't know if we can hatch them here outside of the primordial caves, but uh, we'll try at least. Like normal eggs, I assume this is just a time-gated thing, so I will leave them be and we'll go find something else to do. And that something else, of course, is going to involve bees. In particular, the Draconic Bee, which in order to get it, we are going to need to populate an obsidian nest with some dragon breath. Now, the only issue with getting dragon breath is that I'm going to need to make some end crystals up to summon the bad girl back in. And because I have installed the outer end mod, that has changed up the crafting recipe of the end crystals. So first things first, we are going to require some crystals. And just before we summon her back in, let's grab this. Now let's get our beautiful princess back. And that should be everything then to start summoning back in the end crystals. Oh, I've also just noticed that whenever these pillars get activated, we get crying obsidian on them actually. Oh, that's a neat detail I didn't notice last time. Anyway, here she comes. And immediately, fire breath. Ah, uh, I didn't bring vials. Sorry, my lady. Had to make a pit stop. Thank you for waiting. There we go. And whilst we're here, actually, would you mind kindly coming over to the stasis chamber? Oh, thank you for obliging. You are so bloody beautiful. I can't wait to see you stuck in some amber. Also, shulkers, could we not? Look at that face. I really don't think she's going to enjoy what's going to happen here. Annoyingly, all of my bees have escaped and I'm having to recapture them. She is still in stasis, but they aren't really doing a good job. And I see what's happened here. The amber bees are full of honey at the moment. They need a nest to go deposit this into. Right, give me a moment. Everything is always so bloody inconvenient. Although it does give me the chance to come see if anything has spawned in, which so far not from here. And not from here either, but at least some of the eggs are cracking. Apologies again, my lady. We had to yet make another pit stop. And I do see that you have escaped from your stasis, if you would please re-enter it. Much obliged. And they did it. Oh, that is super cute. That is fantastic, actually. And another dragon has spawned in, in its place. Oh, even better. Right, let's get these obsidian nests set up then. And after a while, hopefully a draconic will spawn within them. Whilst we wait, is there any of those endriophages around? I would like some more capsids, or whatever they're called. I also forgot to bring a waystone with me, but I do have a warp plate, although it doesn't have a shard in it, and I have two here, of which I have no idea if they're active or not. Ah, uh, well, yes, that one was active. That was Ned's uh, warp plate. Right, sorry Ned, but you do need to go back through. This was a mistake. Let's try the other attune shard then and see where it takes us. Out into Brian and Dave's lab. 
Ah, uh, you know what? That's fine. I can make a few waystones or grab the ones that I have made already. Then just set one of them up here. A uh, bit confusing, but we've got it. And we may have an inverted lay now started a spore infestation in the end. Shit happens, I'm afraid, chaps. That is the draconic bees now spawned in. Lovely. So I will scoop a few of these up and we'll take them back to the colony. Whilst I'm back at the colony, uh, wait a minute actually, I heard something roar for a second there. And indeed we do have a dinosaur, our first grotoceratops. So we're now going to have some dinos running around. And I did see things spawn in here. We got hummingbirds. Uh, a lot of hummingbirds actually. So maybe the monolith only gives us out natives to the biome. This is a jungle biome, so maybe just hummingbirds and the like. Oh well, both are pretty awesome. Anyway, back to this. I want to take out one of the capsids that we already have. Then we want to make a crimson mosquito larva, which is relatively simple. So long as I have the maggot, uh, which I don't, we get those from a drop from a fly. And flies normally come from things that are decaying. Any flies about here? Oh, we do have some actually. Brilliant. So we combine the maggots with mosquito proboscis to make the larva. Then we get out of here. And do we put that into the capsid? Yes, we do. So that has transformed into something else. And do I break this to take it out? Destroy the child. Yes. Okay, so we now have a mysterious worm, which I think we then chuck that down into the void. Hopefully I've done that right. Ah, uh, a soul for a soul. Yes, I have. So we now have the void worm. Why are you throwing glass at me? I think this may be a job for ranged... Ah, uh, two of them. Oh, seriously, you split them? That's fantastic. How many can we make? There's three. Four of them. Five of them. Keep going, chaps. Keep going. They are slowly all dying. That's not me that's doing it. But they've made a void portal which I was going to enter. There's another portal which just takes us out there, okay. Right guys, let's stab you in the head as uh, suggested then. There's one down. And that's the second one down. Wormy achievement. With Ender Residue. That sounds like Amethyst. We got Void Worm Mandibles and a Void Worm Eye. And both of those items combined make a pickaxe. The Dimensional Carver Pickaxe. It is now night on the overworld, so if my friend did want to come visit me, I would certainly be more than happy with that. Also, I think our tickle chicken has hatched, so where has it wandered off to? I can't find him actually, but I'm sure it will make an appearance at some point. Right then, let's get our draconic bees into a nest and eventually they will give us out some draconic combs in which we can put into a centrifuge for some draconic dust. And the dust then combines into chunks which we can then combine with productivity units to make even stronger productivity units which ultimately is just a big upgrade for our bees. The only issue is is that those draconic bees are mighty fussy and will require a dragon egg in order to feast. Well it is now slowly becoming daytime and my friend still hasn't made an appearance. He is such a disappointment. But I do have a new playmate for all of our wannabes, so you chaps, enjoy the Ender Dragon. I really feel that we're going to need to make up a museum for all of our amber collections. That will maybe be a fun project for us to work on. Well, this has certainly been a fun episode to make. 
a pointless one, but I've still had a lot of fun.